Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Smackdown Live. My name is Davies alongside Tim Price. Yeah, it's great to be here for what will be another jam-packed edition of Smackdown here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're in for quite a hell of a show. Yes, we are indeed, ladies and gentlemen. And look who's coming to ringside. He is, of course, your world heavyweight champion, the A-lister himself, of course, Sean Betherick. Uh, the man from Hollywood himself, the big time A lister, short breath freaking your world heavyweight champion, he is gracing us with his presence. And well, let's listen into what he has to say. I'm sure it's going to be huge. Well, look at this crowd here tonight in Phoenix. I am here to tell you some good news and not so good news. Let's start with the bad hmm. news, and that is I cannot defend the title here tonight as I am not. Oh, what? Well,. <sighs> How does this change things? Uh, uh, let's have a, a very unfortunate. Cleared to compete, but I will be a payback, and I've been told I am going to defend the title in a fatal four-way against Jay Money, who has owned his rematch, and also by the office, they have added... Oh, well, a huge fatal four-way already stacking the odds against Sean Beverick. Uh, who else are the other two men, though? Uh, John Elgin and Dan Masters to the match. And I look forward to it. I am not going to be uh, on one who hides with the title. I take on anyone in a payback. I will show anyone, everyone, I am back and ready to go. I, you know, sure, Beverly never shies away. He does a bad job of challenging. I'm sure he cha welcomes the tough challenge. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming up tonight, we, we need to crown a new number one contender in the SmackDown women's division. Tonight, we'll have eight women going in a battle royal to see who will fight of course uh, the champ Cassidy at um, Payback man what a huge match it is well that's going to be later on tonight coming up AJZ was drafted last week in the Superstar Shake Up he takes on Austin Andrews next on Smackdown Live now let's see how AJZ does it well as Smackdown debut here I just, I just look at the size of him in comparison to his opponent and of course, uh, AJZ won a battle royal last week, of course, on the Superstar Shake-Up, uh, representing Raw. But uh, not this week, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, though, his opponent, uh, of course, Austin Andrews, will wait because here he comes, being accompanied by the hardcore legend himself, Mr. Joe Disney, on his birthday, by the way, AJZ. Yeah, AJZ, look, just look at the size of him. He's absolutely jacked. It has the hardcore legend with him. And so Austin Andrews is in for a well, one hell of a tough challenge here tonight. You know, by hope for his sake that he's ready for this. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't got your betting, please do so already. Ladies and gentlemen, this is AJZ. So you know what the crazy thing is? AJZ is still so young in his career. He's got some years in him. But you can call him a veteran of NSW. You can in <laughs> Sparks for the bunny on his birthday. Yes, of course, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joe Disney had his birthday today and celebrated with a lovely bunch of carrots. Oh, no, here he had a lovely carrot cake too. <laughs> Indeed he did. And what a brave man standing in them Sparks. He's, he's the hardcore legend. He don't give a fuck about some Sparks. He's dealt with much worse. AJZ, of course, coming across from Raw. This is a new beginning for AJZ, of course. And you've got to be thinking, after last week's Battle Royal win, don't bet against him showing what he is worth in the singles division here tonight. No, certainly not. This is a guy you definitely don't want to bet against. You know, AJZ here at NSW said, again, he's so young, but he's practically done it all here in NSW. You know, former world champion. And yet he's only, what... 18, 19? Yeah, I try to be that. Nah. Yeah. He has a record for the, you know, youngest world champion. That is true. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, please welcome Austin Andrews. You know, Austin Andrews, he definitely has a tough challenge ahead of him in this matchup. I'm sure you know Austin Andrews has done plenty of scouting for this matchup. You know, he's watched AJZ's previous matches, seen all what he's made of, and a transformation. And Austin Andrews, if he's smart, he's, you know, found any weaknesses and will look to exploit them. Well, 
you've got to be saying here, ladies and gentlemen, Austin Andrews is going to have to dig deep if he's going to defeat AJZ. But as I said, you never know. It could be uh, AJZ could live up to tradition uh, on a new brand, of course. Yeah, of course he could, or maybe our statues will break tradition. <laughs> Just have to find out in this matchup. I say it's going to be, I think, quite a back and forth matchup. And, oh my god, just look at him. Well, here we go. And Jim Justice, of course, your referee for this one. But it's Jim Judgment. Uh, same thing. Anyone, even AJZ, can do a Russian leg sweep. Yes, Jim, Ju Jim Judgment, I apologise. It's okay, but. I swear, AJZ just gets bigger every time we see him. Well, you know, he, he does hang out in the gym, you know. Well, of course, but it's just scary to see each, each and every single time. He just looks more jacked. Shot by AJZ, of course. Welcome to SmackDown Live, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Your Wednesday night show from NSW. Dave Easton, Tim Price with you, in, of course, going through all the action. In the Continental title match also to come tonight, so don't forget that on the card plus many more good matches. Of course, we're going to see the Hounds debut on SmackDown Live next as well. So much, um, of course, because of the superstar shake-up. And yeah, he went his, is it me or is this, ages he just sort of got bigger but without me noticing? Because this guy, I, like, I remember when he was just a young lad. Now look at the size of him. I know, I remember when he first debuted in NSW. He was, he was absolutely tiny. He was a scrawny little thing. You no one really took seriously at all because he was so tiny. And now just look at him, he's absolutely huge and no one dares, you know, go against this guy and, you know, they all take him seriously. Snake eyes across the top. Austin Andrews better take this guy serious, that's all I'm saying. But wait a minute, float over. DDT! Oh! Connects. Lovely. But brutal at the same time, but HSC shakes it off. But no, Austin Andrews, in this, he seems to be showing, you know, his speed and technical ability to out-wrestle HAZ. Yeah, and you can't say that. That happens on many of occasions. But you've got to take every opportunity you do against AJZ. You can't let him get his ref back because he will hit you in the hardest ways. But Andrews with a nice back suplex right on the back. And you can see that maybe, just maybe, he has AJZ on the ropes here. Yeah, maybe so, you know. How much scouting has AJZ been able to do going into this matchup in comparison to Austin? Andrew's ability of scouting HAZ. It's oh. a lovely missile drop kick. Connects beautifully as well. And of course, you've got to remember, we haven't seen anything of Austin Andrews um, in NSW, and this could be a, a break of tradition, you could say. Yes, yeah, so it looks like it could be a break of tradition. He's really taken a fight to AJZ and have a hell of a lot of respect for that. He's not backing down for a second. Over the top, and of course, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to run out of time for your bet if you haven't done so already. And also, if you haven't already, please do retweet the official NSW tweet as the Disney effect in full effect. The birthday bunny is up, and AJZ will take full advantage. Oh, yes, he does with that reverse DDT there. Very smart by Joe Dizzy. He just knew when to get involved. Oh, oh good you, lord. I, I think I'm going to have to call it. Yeah, I think so. As a botch. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. First one of the night. AJZ, though, coming back with a nice DDT. And, of course, I love walking with Easton, of course, because I'm in the crowd here tonight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Every time you just have to, you know, get a little too sensey because you... you Bought out fans in order to hold up your signs. And Austin Andrews will, will be hit with a backbreaker here in AJZ. Now back in control. Bunny looking on. Of course, Joe Disney wants that bit. Oh, wait a minute. Are we going to see it? Uh-oh. Oh, people's elbow connects. And oh, he's threatening thin air. <laughs> How dare he threaten thin air and... I'm surprised he's gone with the people's elbow. I remember when he used to hit the people's knee. Oh, he's still got the people's knee. He just loves a bit of elbow action sometimes. Scoops. No, wait a minute. Austin Andrews oh. will be inverted. DDT and a chance here now for to take advantage once again. Back and forth action here early on SmackDown oh Live. Oh my goodness, what a side And again, the buddy to... getting involved. Yeah, he gets involved again, but that's what great managers do. They know when to get involved as a Scorpion death drop there by HIZ. Come for the victory, no, just a one. Not going to happen on this occasion. 
And look at this now, just wrench of the neck, trying to slow the pace down in AGZ. Well, he would love that because, of course, AGZ will have the power advantage in this one. Now, now go for the cover oh, in a minute! Oh, well, he's using the ropes for leverage here. I know only a no. two. Can't believe he hasn't got Aston Andrews there. And that, what a way for AJZ. To, if he could defeat the newcomer by a, a cheating like that, oh my goodness. But Andrew's coming back. Well, that's our experience edge coming in. I just think he knows what he needs to do to, you know, keep on top here and be a top winner is to use any means necessary. People don't like him. What's in the... Wait a right. minute! Oh! oh my goodness! That's got to do it! Cover! Hook of the leg! Disney hasn't realised! Oh, oh, wait yes. a minute! Wait Just a minute! The last second choked as he manages to pull Jim Judgment out of the ring. You oh. can't you can do boy. that! That's Joe Dizzy, though. That's what he does. That's why his clients have got to the top of NSWs with manoeuvres like that. My goodness me, that was a win. Austin Andrews was going to break tradition and defeat AJZ, but no, because of that bunny, it's not going to happen. Oh, I thought you got along with Joe Dizzy just I fine. I didn't call him anything, I just said because of the bunny, I'm calling it as I see it. Austin Andrews again, up, snap, suplex, end of the cover straight away. Sure, no, I was going to say foot under the rope, though, bit of a rookie mistake. And that may have took it out of Austin Andrews here. Has he had his opportunity taken away by the bunny? Yeah, maybe, but he's looking for some high risk here. Will it be high reward or is he going to crash and burn? Oh, big no! boy! What a big, big, big boy! Cover! Two! And Austin Andrews oh. is impressive here tonight. Forget the bunny, ladies and gentlemen. Austin Andrews has spoiled the bunny's birthday! Yeah, he certainly has spoiled the bunny's birthday, that poor buddy, but Austin Andrews, what a victory for him, but well, he just broke tradition. He did indeed, congratulations to Austin Andrews, a brilliant debut here tonight, and it's no easy feat by de defeating AJZ. Ah, certainly not give credit to Austin Andrews, because what a victory for him there. Yeah, Austin Andrews, one to look out for if he keeps his nose clean. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, let, just of course to let everyone know, applications to join the show will close after NXT this week. There's no applic public applications. It will be by invite only. So if you want to join and you haven't joined already, you need to get your application form and it's on the bio in our Twitter. Coming up next, the Hounds debut here on SmackDown Live. They take on the GWO of Chaz and Bruce. It's tag team action, and they're already in the ring waiting for us. Oh, well, what a match this is, you know. The Hounds in their debut here, but this is two teams have been with NSW for so long. I'm pretty sure they've probably met in the ring before. I, I, if, someone, if someone can probably go back, I, I couldn't say they have. But, uh, of course, nice to see um, the Hounds finally... Get, getting a chance here on Smackdown Live. The land of opportunity, of course, coming across in the Superstar Shake-Up last week. But, um, well, what, what about that Austin Andrews? What a result for him tonight. Yeah, a huge result for him. A very impressive result. Decided to break tradition and go win in his debut over AJZ, nonetheless. Now, Bruce, of course, in the ring. And... That is Jason Croon, the, the powerhouse, but not looking very powerhousey so far with a choke by Bruce and Bruce. Chaz and Bruce will use everything in their arsenal to get a oh. victory here, but not when you get kicked like that. And oh, nice knee follow up. Of course, the Hounds, four time tank team champions, of course, in NSW. And of course, GWO have been there as well. Look out for some double team here. Oh, look at something. Oh, just double. Elbows to the face there from the hounds. You've got to remember as well that Bruce, of course, the um, uncle of former NSW superstar Goldberg. There's uh, a leap and drop kick oh, right to the wow. back. My goodness, Bruce will do well to get out of here. Leo Mercer now back inside the ring. 
And you've got to see, many people have said this could be the Hounds' rebirth, you could say, Tim, here on SmackDown Live in this tag team division. Oh, definitely, especially when they're using vicious maneuvers like that. It's definitely a chance of rebirth for the Hounds. Because since making their return, it's oh, not gone their way. But, Dave, you know what that is? I uh, didn't see. Sorry. Ah. Oh. What was it? God fucking damn it. He went for a springboard and completely missed. Oh, I was, see, I was paying attention to my Twitch chat. I've just seen it on the replay. And apologies, chat. See, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep an eye on our Twitch. Our lovely Twitch chat, of course. Who are here once again in their numbers. As Leo Miss and I'm going across. What do you can do here? Up to the middle turnbuckle. And he's got some high risks planned, it looks like. How's it gonna go? Oh, and, oh no! No, it's not a botch, he moved out the way. Hey, well, you have been pushed. Liam Mercer out the way there, and now here comes Chaz into the matchup. The young guy of the GW, of course. Chaz. Many people said the sex symbol of GW. I don't know, but. Oh, are you gonna cry? No, oh, you're gonna cry. <laughs> you're gonna cry. <laughs> and now Chaz rolling Leo Mercer over. Oh, look at this. Oh, just stirring the pot. And there's the elbow. Oh, vicious elbow there by Chaz. Right into the face there. And now Chaz got something plant some high risk. Oh, lovely leg drop there. God, that's going to hurt his arse if he lands like that more, well, more often. Um, well. <laughs> oh, look at that. He kind of used to that. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> the gay community. <laughs> Wait, what? Well... Never mind. Oh, no, this could be bad for Chaz taking oh. over. My guess, what a hard karate, but I'm sure Chaz is used to some nuts in his face. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. What about Dick? <laughs> Honestly, you need to calm down. <laughs> Wait a minute. Kick to oh. the side of the head. He doesn't see stars, he sees penis. <laughs> oh, damn it. Scoops? Oh, has him up. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Londar into the middle turn buckle. And the hand's completely in control here. And, oh no. Oh, rings are satin! Oh my goodness, but oh, Chaz got his foot just to the rope there. Surely now, that's not going to count. Oh, wait a minute here! Oh, the hand just sne oh, the hands have sneaked one! Yeah, the hands have certainly sneaked one because Chaz's hand was clearly under the rope there. But Jim Judge for proving he is blind as fuck in this company. Maybe he's against the gay community. <laughs> oh no, what a homophobe. No, the hounds aren't though, they've picked up the win here tonight. Yeah, what a victory for the hounds. They've really, well you could say dominated, but a bit controversial to say the least. Indeed it is. And well, the hounds pick up the debut uh, win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, remember that Payback is coming as our next pay-per-view on the 1st of o uh, July, even. No, not October, that miles away. Make sure you join us, of course. Uh, we will give you the time of the pay-per-view closer, uh, but it's usually half nine, unless Tim's working, of course. Now I have projects. Yes. Yeah. We'll tell you, though. We'll tell you when it's close at the time. Coming up next, Mr. Extreme puts his undefeated streak on the line as he takes on the... Uh, the singer, Simon Kethat, coming up next. Ah, uh, yeah. I did see him outside the ring. I keep, think, I keep thinking there's a hobo hangs outside and realise it's Simon Kevat. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce him first. He is Simon Kevat. You know, when I arrived to the arena tonight, I thought someone was murdering cats outside. But no, it was this guy playing his guitar trying to sing. And of course, uh, Simon Kether, of course, the uh, nephew of um, Travis Kether, of course, the scumbag. He's not a scumbag, but this guy is. Of course, Simon Kether, of course, playing the hits. Well, I say hits. Do you know that he's had an album out this week? Let me guess, he sold one copy to himself. <laughs> hey, he, he, he reached 423 in the UK charts. Probably out of 421. But anyway, Simon Keller is here and he is ready to play a tune 
on Mr. Extreme's undefeated record. See what I did there? I see what you did. Thank you. Um, well, I, I was going to say I stopped my car at the moment. It's actually a rental. Uh, Fuck you, Danny Six. Seriously. First time I bet he's heard that in a while. Probably. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent being accompanied to the ring by Mrs. Extreme. Please welcome the undefeated Mr. Extreme. Yeah, Mr. Extreme has been so aggressive since coming to two and S Tubby. Yeah, the undefeated streak. Can he keep it going? I mean, he's been so vicious in that ring. It's no wonder. I'm just being. T- <laughs> I'm just being told that one of the singles on the album is is called "Eat a Dick, Timmy." I think that's relating to you. I think. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> hmm. Right, not out of context, still kind of in context, because the guy who's made in his way to Do you think I can borrow his motorcycle? <laughs> no. Ah, oh, damn it. Mr. Extreme, of course, very, very impressive over the last few weeks, of course, yeah, since his debut in NSW. But it wouldn't be NSW if it wasn't for Simon Kether to break the undefeated streak. Yeah, that seems like a very, you know, NSW thing to happen. That... You know, you're on this impressive undefeated streak, and then it just gets ended by the most unusual of people. <laughs> is it going to happen tonight, though? That's the question. Now that is the question, but Mr. Extreme, he certainly doesn't look at all intimidated. Doesn't seem to much care about his opponent. I'm sure Mr. Extreme in his own right is ready for this matchup and ready to take the fight to Simon Kever. Also, Mr. Extreme having um, harsh words over the last past week with, uh, of course, uh, Jay Money, um, saying that Jay Money didn't uh, do anything for him last week in the tag team action against the Wolfpack. Um, really, some harsh words back and forth on Twitter. Uh, Jay Money not here this week, of course, um, doing some promotional work in Saudi Arabia. Ah, so we won't see him for another two weeks either because it's all delayed there. Yes, apparently so. But he is, of course, in the in the main event. Uh, well, the SmackDown main event at Payback. Yeah, well, he get well he gets his rematch. Of course, it'll be a final four actions. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't a botch. You need him in the nuts. Yeah, I was gonna say right to the dick of Mister Extreme. Well, we're, there don't there won't be any uh, um, extreme babies, unless well, no, because she's not pregnant. So no. As a, oh wait a minute! Ah, what a view! Oh. Oh, oh, it's got hot in here, as it may. <laughs> Whew. There's a Simon Kether. Having... Simon Kether, did you see where he looked there? Ah, oh, our eyes are up there. And oh, oh he, he, so. he hit it. I thought he was going to botch, but he didn't. As a uh, Mr. Extreme, as I said, very, very impressive in the last few weeks. And look out. Oh, oh, jeez, what a snapdragon there. Right on the back of Simon Kether's head. You not, you not, might not be singing much, uh, many tunes after that one. Ah, uh, definitely, especially I'll take it out. Vicious flatline, and we go, but looks like jaw first into the canvas. I have an announcement, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. You have matched once again for about the fifth time in the in the last few weeks. The number of bets placed at fifteen. Congratulations, you guys in the Twitch chat. Ah, uh, thank you very much. But come on, you guys, you can beat it. New record. Look at this smashing look oh. at, right across the bridge of the nose, and that's going to make it harder to breathe. And oh my oh. goodness, a, right on the lower back as well. And Mr. Extreme is not messing about here tonight. Pump oh, paddle driver. And I think that could be no, no pin. I thought he maybe he's just going to take a bit more out on Simon Kelly here, and that could come back to haunt him. Yeah, it could come back to really cost Mr. Extreme's into the cover because Simon Kever, but barely even a one count there. My goodness, oh, shot into the midsection again. Simon Kever in a lot of trouble. Oh my goodness! Jesus, holy shit, what an extreme cutter! Count it! No! What? 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 The hell, how the hell did he kick out after that? Well, catch an extreme cutter. That was like an extreme, 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 extreme cutter. Oh, my goodness, a leg drop from the top. My goodness, me. Mrs. Extreme, very happy here. 
my goodness, how is Simon Kedda still even able to walk? I don't know how in the hell he's able to, but oh, a vicious knee streak into the face of Mr. Extreme. I'll tell you one thing here, ladies and gentlemen. I told you at the beginning of this that this could be the chance, the time for this undefeated streak to go, and I think this could happen right here. Yeah, it could be about oh, to happen, but not. Oh, oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. <sighs> <sighs> oh, God. It's very hot. Yeah. A, oh, oh. God, can I bring us some towels, please? Wait a minute. Surely that can't count. I was His head's say. under the rope. <laughs> My goodness, Jim Judgment's having a... I think you need to go to... Um, uh, uh, spec savers. Other tech things are available. What's it called? Opticians, that's it. Oh! What a driver again. And Mrs. Extreme has said, Crush! Why is she referencing a 90s wrestler for? I don't understand, but... Uh, a chance here for Mr. Oh, I wonder where she's got Crush! Why is that? Because it's Rusev Day. Who? You know, Rusev Day. The former ECW superstar. Yes, it's also coincidentally Ruska Day. Who? You know, William Ruska. Never heard of him. Great MMA legend. Uh, never heard of him, I'm afraid. But wait a minute, talking about oh. a chance here. Oh my, I'm telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you now. Or not. Because Mr. Extreme wants to set up for the uh, end. Extreme oh. Cutter! And enough one, and I fit that's put the nail in the coffin. It's over. It is! Mr. Extreme wins again. My god. Is anyone going to defeat this guy? I don't know. Can anyone stop Mr. Extreme? I don't know. That is a very good question. Ah, just quickly, of course, I've been told that uh, Simon Kelly loved actually. Uh, Brian Adams, so that's why she said crush. Oh, okay. Don't know why she shouted it when it was, uh... Oh, maybe it was distracting, who knows? Maybe. But, Mr. Extreme, let's not take away from this guy, of course. Another big win here tonight. On Smackdown Live, and whoa! Wait whoa, a minute! Whoa, whoa. What's hey, he doing meant, here? You're meant to be a Saudi Arabia, you fuck! That's... Well, Excuse that's... me, you're meant to be doing promotional work for us, you wanker. No wonder we don't get many viewers. Yeah. In Saudi Arabia. God damn it. Well, ah. Oh, um, replay. <laughs> well done to him. Yeah. Instant replay of what just happened. As J Money <laughs> shows, he's not in Saudi Arabia doing promo work for us. Why, what this, is, this is what just happened, ladies and gentlemen. We wanted to show you twice. Hopefully what not just a, happened? Not, not a third time, I'm praying. But that was definitely a replay. I've, no, no, no. There we go. There's the crowd. Of course, and oh, wait a minute here, Mr. Extreme. Oh, come oh, on! God. What? what what's, you know you could maybe by do the way, something about watch this. these stairs appear. They weren't there before, and someone puts them there now. Ah, <laughs> oh, the arena's a wizard. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is disgusting. Got to tell. Oh, wait a minute, Tristan Knight here. Uh, my guest at this time is Tristan Knight, and Tristan, you are not booked tonight. And I know this has been a sore point for you. What do you have to say to Mass Rewe about this? Mm. Um, Mark Woolley, you might want to uh, uh, just keep away. Yeah, just keep away from questions like that and get the hell out of there. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Do you think I like this, Mark? Each week I have to watch new people come in and take my place. They come in here and because NSW is the best place to be at the minute, they come here to SmackDown and to find out this... Oh dear. Tristan Knight in the not happiness scientist Mark, get out of there, please. Oh dear, that's not going to be good. Uh, it's not like other places, and this is a place you just get things for turning up, but I'm sick of these new people. So, Mark, I'm going to show why I'm a former world champion, and I will not stand by and watch. Uh oh. Well, Tristan Knight's given a little warning, I think, to everyone in the locker room. I've got to tell you one thing. Watch out. I think. He, all these new people. We're talking about new people. Look at this lineup. We have got Fraser, Hugh Blunt, Huey Blunt even, Aldrich, and Nova Mahal in an elimination match. Bloody hell, this is going to be exciting. Oh, and they're no, in the ring already. Ah, well, it is going to be very exciting. So you have to be quick. Aldrich, of course, from France. Fraser, we seen last week. Nova Mahal, we know all about. And uh, Huey Blunt, yes. of course, has been very, very. Uh, uh, well, he's been quiet on Twitter this week, surprisingly, after he got beat off the Danger Squad twice last week. 
Yeah, maybe he's learned his lesson. <laughs> Don't think so, Simon. Of course, what do you make of Tristan Knight's um, threat there, Tim? Do you think that is what it is, a threat? Or do you think it's a promise that he's going to take out the, the new people here on SmackDown? You know, I think it's a threat, a promise, whatever you want to make of it. I, You know, when it comes to Tristan Knight, I wouldn't put it against him to do whatever the hell he pleases. And I can see him just making life hell for all our newcomers. Well... I've got to tell you one thing. You do not want to pick a, a fight with our former world champion, of course. As a, he, oh, what a punch there. My goodness. Turn a modern day Maharaja. Yeah, of course. India, of course, represented in this match. Nova Mahal coming across. Oh, my goodness. Going to be suplexed out of his boots here. Jesus. What a suplex by Huey Blunts. Apparently, I've been told a lie to the viewers. He says that apparently he did win his debut match. But I didn't say that. I didn't say he lost his debut match. If you listened, what I did say was he, he lost twice to Danger Squad last week. Eh. Come on, people. Don't be stupid idiots. I'll wait. <laughs> yeah. And oh, Raker, the back. Of course, you've only got till uh, the first elimination, so get your bets in quickly, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, Aldrich. No, oh, no, Aldrich was going to go for a suplex, and look at this! Oh, the strength of Aldrich. And look at this, he's bench pressing him. <laughs> oh, God. and then just drops him. Ah, and now, oh, nice neck on the modern day Maharaja. Aaron adds the two biggest individuals in this match, kind of is. STO? Oh, he's got to shut the fuck locked in. No, 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 you can't say that. Oh, Huey Blunt's taken full advantage. It's the STF, it's what it stands for. Ah, oh, well, I'm sorry about that. Well, back inside the ring, Fraser still inside. Aldrich may have just done the worst thing possible and took his eye off the ball. And yeah, uh, just big don't belly to belly. do that. You don't take your eye off the ball. That's how you get caught so easily. And that's what Aldrich is. That's off the absolute nerve of the modern day Maharaja. He's really got on Huey Blunt's nerves. Maybe he's still one of his blunts. Uh, and, oh, oh. Mm. He would have hit it, I think, but we'll let him off that one. Look at this here. My goodness, Fraser coming yeah. back. There's two of them. We don't want to piss off India. <laughs> You've already bankrupt half of Asia anyway. That is true. And there we oh, there's oh, the high knee! Jesus, what? And uh, Fraser, well, he looked like he wanted to get rid of few blunts in match, but Aldrich not letting it happen. Aldrich, of course. I said I had to try to get a word with Aldrich earlier today, and he just said weird. Ah, how weird! <laughs> exactly. Look at this running power slam. Oh, oh my god! And that could be it for Fraser into the cover. No, no. two count only. Not this Damn. time. Fraser managed to kick off that vicious running power slam, and Aldrich, though not backing down for a second, just keeping the fight on. I'm, st I'm still wondering who is Tristan Knight going to go after. It's anyone's a possibility. I mean, specifically the newcomers he wants to go after, but we've got a whole load of newcomers that he could choose from. Oh, wait a minute, yeah. Wait a minute. Them. The Coloss! Oh, it's the Coloss and Ultra could be gone. We could see our first elimination right here. No! A two count. Ah, but did Hugh Blunts, did he, ba did he back suplex Frazier into that cover? Well, there goes Fraser out the ring. The modern day Maharaja setting up Aldrich here. Oh, big tackle. A lovely shoulder tackle from the middle rope. And now Aldrich is just getting torn apart here by Nova Mahal. And now, no, oh, wait a minute. Up and over again, Aldrich trying to take advantage. With, um, uh, small, whatever you call it, call off the engagement. Oh, small, oh, I'll see in a second because another shut the fuck up. Oh, the shut the fuck. Locked in. And now I'm always going to tap out. It could be... No. Oh, he, no, he's broken out of it. Well, that took a hell of a lot of strength <laughs> for Nova Mahal's part. Oh, the high oh. knee! Oh, again with that high knee. He loves a high knee. Now, who doesn't love a high knee? My goodness. And really, are they going to try and double up here on... Aldrich can get rid of the French, the Frenchman here, because it doesn't look like Fraser and I know Mahal are really um, going against each other here. 
That's uh, it doesn't look that way. It's enough. Well, we are going to look to get rid of Ultra, but no. Not Crazy this time. It's stopping. Nope. <laughs> Every day. It's looking, oh, and Aldrich may have just called Frasier for this. Look out on the other side. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Into the ropes. That's it. No. What? My oh, no. goodness. My goodness, it did. How in the hell is No More still alive in this? Now, going for a card for after an arm slam. <laughs> this... No, it's going to say it's not the 80s, for goodness sake. I don't think that would even happen in the 80s. And again, Aldrich was trying to look to finish off uh, Who You Blunt, but um, Nova Mahal got in the way of that. Why, is he... Why would you do that? He's probably high. That is true. <laughs> Manova Mahal with a deal! <laughs> Mitch and Oku deal, they're onto Huey Plants. It just seems like nobody wants to get wants to have the glory here. Everybody's trying to nick the glory off everyone else. Yeah, I mean it's an elimination match. You ain't gotta worry about it. Just let an opponent be eliminated and pick up the pieces. Oh my goodness, did you see that knee to the side of the head? That was just brutal from overall. Now he's lifted Huey Plants up. And Death and Valley oh, Driver! What a Death Valley Driver there. And Huey Blunt, he could be about to be eliminated. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, he thinks he's from Bulgaria? Yeah, he thinks he's Bulgarian, and it, of course, in celebration of Rusev. Day. Rusev doesn't exist in this universe. Stop! Yes, he does. He always exists. He's our Lord and Saviour. Shut up! <laughs> Why, Dave? Because it isn't. He's, he used to be on ECW. He got fired for being shit. Wow, Dave. Just wow. Well, to <laughs> no more. No more. Fall into the floor here. Yeah. And all of this is really just breaking down here. This is what we call a clusterfuck. Wait a minute, though. Two. We have our first oh. elimination. And it's Huey Blunts. Ah, uh, Huey Blunts has got him. Wow, so quick was Frasier to attack Nova Mahal there. But oh, he's been caught by... F Aldrich? And Aldrich, yes. <laughs> oh, it gets knee busted. And now the Frenchman just taking his time as Frasier for about the 19th time in this match will roll to the outside. He's got to keep rolling. And now... Has him up. Big super. Oh my oh, goodness. goodness. This is not going to be good for the modern day Maharaja. My god, no way. Oh, oh my, my goodness. That's Jesus 300, nearly 325 pounds. And Aldrich made that look easy. And now, oh god, just stomping at the arm. You've got to be thinking how much is left in the modern day Maharaja and Fraser on the outside. I wonder he's not dizzy, to be honest, the amount of times he's been rolling in this match. She oh. may be dizzy. Oh, what a simple suplex. Which Aldrich could get shot the strength. And Oh, wait a minute. He gets caught. Oh, there's one back suplex. Have a second. And now going to hang on for the third big German oh. suplex. What a jammer suplex by Fraser, And it's, well, he's free to town too. And now it seems like they're two are teaming up on Ultra because they're both. <laughs> one, who's going to get it first? Oh, it's going to be Frasier. Oh, another suplex. He's got win of run already. And another one. <laughs> and he's gotten rid of Ultra. Now it's down to And oh, look at this from over the hall. The, bl he, the bloody opportunist. The Coloss. Oh, what a Coloss. He knew exactly what to do. That's and that it. is Ring Smart there from Nova Mahal. The modern day Maharaja picks up the win. And that, well, you could just call him a little bit of a sneaky bastard after that one. Well, you certainly could call him a sneaky bastard, but it worked in his favour. He knew exactly what to do and he showed real in Ring Smart there. And that is why he is your winner. Nova Mahal, the modern day Maharaja picks up the win in this one here tonight. No fans, it's not a thing. <laughs> it's not Happy Eastern Day, it's not a thing. It is, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we're in a partnership with BCW and MFW. If you haven't caught any of their shows, please do. And also give them a, a big hello from NSW. 
course, do catch them at the Twitch uh, streams. Oh, that's on the screen now, of course. And uh, make sure you do say hello and do follow them on Twitter as well. Give them a nice little hello. Hello. Coming up next, Thomas End, after defeating Braun Strowman last week, is going to take on Finn Balor this week. Can he continue his winning streak or will Finn Balor put the pride back into Thomas End? That's what we're going to find out in this matchup. This is going to be a real clash of styles here. Very, I think, similar styles. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce him first. He is Thomas End. Yeah, Thomas End wants to get, you know, another huge victory, of course, defeated Braun Strowman last week of what many people said was an absolute shocker. Let's see if he can continue on those winning ways. Of course, he'd love to try and get another opportunity the Intercontinental Championship. Well, Thomas End, of course, pulled off a huge upset last week when he said against Braun Strowman. But is he going to do it against Finn Balor this week? That is what we're going to find. Nice this match this should be now a real back and forth contest, a real you know, fast paced one, too. I can't wait to see who's going to walk out with the victory. Thomas End, of course. Ready to, once again, try and build up towards that Intercontinental title run, of course. He's going to be very interested in our next match, of course. But here comes his opponent. He is Finn Balor! Yeah, Finn Balor, he's going to look to get a huge victory in this matchup. And you have know, really... Build up a try and build up a streak of his own, and maybe in his own way try and go for that intercontinental championship. Of course, Bala Club is for everyone, but maybe not for Thomas End tonight. Yeah, maybe not. And also, I've been told his music's back on. He's 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 back with his music. You ready? Ah, wonderful! Ah, <laughs> lovely! I love it. Gotta love it. Finn Balor, of course. Um, seeing he, he would, he, of course, brought back by Maz we of course, a few weeks ago to be in the Royal Rumble. Now, of course, a fixture back on SmackDown Live. And you have to be thinking, Tim, that uh, he'll be looking to take out Thomas End and make a statement here tonight. He certainly will look to take out Thomas and make a huge statement. Of course, since coming back, it's not been the easiest of times for Finn Balor, but... You know, victory here tonight can really, you know, shake things up for him and get things going in the right direction for this man. Oh, come on. Tim, put your hands down, will you? What's wrong with liking Finn Balor? What's your problem? Are you part of the Balor Club? Of course, Balor Club's for everyone. Are you? I am in no club. Ah, uh, maybe Ballot Club isn't for everyone. <laughs> Especially, probably not for losers like you. Uh, that's why I get paid more. What? No, you don't. <laughs> we go. You have to pay people to bring signs for you. See, Ballot's brought some. Here we go. Thomas End. Oh, oh. straight away, maybe. Doing the best thing. You're trying to catch uh, Finn Balor a bit cold early on here. Man, that's the right thing to do, you know. Get out the gate quickly. Get your offense in. But don't let your, dra your stamina drain too quickly. You know, you want to keep things going to build towards that victory. Keep your momentum going. Just a quick note, ladies and gentlemen. If you are wanting to support NSW in any way, we don't ask for donations, of course. We're not, that's not, we're not that tiny to channel. But if you want to donate bits, of course, if you look below the stream... You will see the overall leaders in who's donated bits to us, and we thank each and every one of you for doing so. And if you you don't have to donate, of course, even you just being here means the world to NSW. And we thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to view NSW. As you're seeing some very very good action in here in the minute, Finn Balor. Of course, Finn Balor not showing the abs off these days. Yeah, well, what's up with that? Uh, it's because he says he he wants to promote um, the the Bala Club. Ah, you please just, go say something else then. You could just get the Bala Club tattooed on his arms, I guess. Yeah, he could do, but maybe you'd think that look ridiculous. 
Yeah, it's probably two. It's true, even. As uh, Thomas End stalking Finn Balor here. Now what's he looking for here? Oh, oh my goodness, a blunt force trauma for your troubles there, Finn. And up to the top here. Now, Thomas End looking to maybe end Finn Balor here. And oh, oh spinning GDT. Yes. Nice of Finn Balor to run into that as well. I know, he wanted to try and look for some sort of counter for it, but it was just not quick enough. And Thomas said, "Does God Finn Balor reeling right now?" What in the look at the, look at the oh. viciousness into the ribs? Good lord, these vicious shots! He's knocked a backstabber. Good lord! You've got to say that. I think Thomas End after the win against Braun Strowman last week, Tim, has got a little bit more confident in, in and that has shown the aggression also here. And but Finn Balor with a lovely crucifix. Yeah, definitely. Thomas had to show and he's more confident since that win over Braun Strowman. But he can't get overconfident because that will cost him. As what an elbow drop by Finn Balor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some news for you. Just a second. Let's see what happens here. One count. I've been told that Mr. Extreme has been taken to a local medical facility and he may actually have broken ribs. Uh, due to that attack by J Money earlier on tonight. We'll try and keep you posted if we hear anything more on tonight's broadcast. If not, stay tuned to our Twitter. Back to this match, though. That's uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh! Shotgun drop kick, and he could be one coup de gras away from victory. It's Thomas Ends winning streak at one over and done with. Up. Down. Oh, oh, oh coup de gras. And that looks like it could be here for Thomas End. It looks like it's the end for him. It is, and Finn Balor on the winning trail here tonight. Oh, well, what a victory for Finn Balor gets things going his way. And Thomas End, well, he's got to try and bounce back from that. A tough loss for him. But Finn Balor is your victor here tonight. Yes, Finn Balor picks up the win, ladies and gentlemen, over Thomas End in that contest. And, well, here's Trey Donovan, ladies and gentlemen. He is up next. He will be taking on Darren Masters for the Intercontinental title, of course. And uh, the referee, I think, our oh, cameraman's a bit drunk. <laughs> Who's been giving our cameraman booze? I don't know who right. it is, but he is heading oh, come to... come on! He's My head... booze is gone. He's heading towards our wheel, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the Intercontinental Championship match. Trey Donovan's first defence against Darren Masters. Dan Masters has said he is looking to win both this and the World Heavyweight title in the coming weeks. Can he do it? We'll find out next. Can he become a double champion? Part of me uh, doubts it. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger. He is the hype man, Dan Masters. I mean, Dan Masters, yes, he has a great opportunity here tonight to try to become the Intercontinental Champion, but he's got to be in there with an NSW original. Uh, and maybe if Dan Masters went away from this hype stuff and is being hype all the time and maybe reanalyzed his times at the fall as a member of the force, he was much better. That's what would get him championship gold. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, of course, Dan Masters does have a chance to win the Intercontinental Championship tonight. And at payback on the 1st of July, he will be in a fatal four-way elimination match with Sean Betherick, Jay Money and Jard Elgin. And of course, a chance for if he can win tonight, could be a double champion in just a couple of weeks. And there's something you can really emphasize, could be. I just personally don't think it'll happen. Because he's in there with an NSW original and your intercontinental champion. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is the current NSW Intercontinental Champion. He is Trey Donovan. Trey Donovan, the legendary Trey Donovan, the, the man of the list and your Intercontinental Champion. He's going to show tonight why well, he is Intercontinental Champion and get a huge victory and retain. Of course, Trey Donovan won the Intercontinental Championship in a battle royal, of course, a few weeks ago here on SmackDown Live. Many people called it a bit of a shock upset. It's the first ever time Trey Donovan has held the Intercontinental Championship on NSW. But his first defence against Dan Masters, could it be a very short title reign? Or will the man of the list 
put damn Masters on that list and send Masters momentum all the way down. You know, if that's personally my opinion, what's going to happen? I think Chadov is going to get the big victory, retain his championship, and Dan Masters' confidence is going to be shook going towards, you know, payback. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting some more news out of the back. Apparently, what I've been told by, I'm getting told by Maz Freeway, next week here on SmackDown Live, it is going to be Mr. Extreme and J Money in an Extreme Rules match right here on SmackDown Live next week. But the thing is, is Mr. Extreme going to even be fit enough to compete in that match? So that is a very good question, but I don't think Mr. Extreme is very much careful. He just wants to get his hands around the throat of Jay Money and throttle him to death. It could happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see next week. Remember, if you haven't got your bet in already, ladies and gentlemen, please do so. Dan Masters, is that the closest he's going to come to the Intercontinental Championship? Or... Is he going to get a do a surprise here tonight? Uh, part of me just doubts it. Now look at that top. It, uh, it just says bro me on it. Oh, God. Here we go. We're underway. It's one fault. We're finished, ladies and gentlemen. As Dan Moss is looking to get the early advantage and takes down Trey Donovan. I say Dan Moss is in this. He's going to have the strength and power advantage. But Trader, he's got the experience, he's got the technical ability and the speed. So he has the edge, I, in my opinion, going into this. And Dan Masters just looking maybe a bit off more than he can chew because Donovan oh. in control with a lovely backbreaker. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, the eight-woman battle royal for the number one contendership of the SmackDown Championship who will face Cass. And of course, um, Cassidy aren't uh, payback. That'll happen in just a couple of matches. Of course, Jeremy Baltimore versus Aaron the Destroyer still to come. And this match is for the Intercontinental Championship. Of course, if you would have to think if Dan Masters is going to win this, he would have liked to have got a better start than he has so far, Tim. Yeah, he certainly would have. But that's the thing. When you get in the ring with Trey Tony, you're in for one hell of a fight. And that's what Dan Masters has got to realise. He's got to try and... There are some ways to come back here, but he ain't be easy as a double axe handle. Right to the skull of Dan Moss as the hype man. Not very hype so far. Really looking like Trey Donovan is just making a bit, oh. of, a, bit of a bit of an easy work of him here so far, Tim. Yes, yeah, certainly looks like it. But oh, look at this. Just he said that Dan Moss come back with big shoulder tackle there. What a night we've had here on SmackDown Live. We've had Jay Money attacked, of course, Mr. Extreme. Because see, you cannot keep your eye off NSW, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, SmackDown Live. And the superstars, oh. of course. Uh, and of course, we've been told earlier tonight that the superstars of SmackDown better be on high alert because uh, Tristan Knight has said he's looking to, to take his anger out on someone as a big boot by Dan Masters. I've got to tell you one thing, Tim. Dan Masters, if he can pull an upset. Oh, well, maybe not, I was going to say. But uh, nice call off an engagement, call it back on again, call it off again. Now, yeah, say, Tamas was just trying to get into this, but oh, gets close on the outside. And again, it's that experience edge of Trey Donovan coming into play here. It's what's giving him the edge. You no know, big, big shot right across the back, and a second one. Not looking good. No, but Dan Master's coming back here. Inside the ring, but I think Trey Donovan may take advantage. No, he hasn't. Hold on. No. Nice Northern Lights by Dan Masters. Yeah, lovely. Northern Lights tearing these again back in control. Oh, just a stiff kick into the back there. Tell you one thing, this Dan Masters, he can wrestle, but oh no, went for the cut and chucked away by Trey Donovan. Big forearm shot by the champ. And now once again going to look to hit the backbreaker. Oh. My goodness, and a vicious backbreaker. That just, there's so much damage. And now Trey Donovan threatening thin air. Again, it looks like it's one of them things here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, code oh. breaker! <laughs> oh, it's a code breaker, and I think that's it. Lights out for Dan Masters. Thanks for coming and trying. Two. No! What? Masters out at two gets the shoulder up. Oh, my goodness. Not many can kick out of the code breaker, but Dan Masters is just able to do it. This has got something planned. It's some kind of fly risk, I'd assume. Oh, no! oh! Connects as well. My goodness, we got a great view of that. Jim Judgment, get out of the way because a knee right to the side of the skull. 
And this is not looking good for the challenger whatsoever. Uh, it really is. And that connection of that drop kick was just out of perfection. But oh, look at this again. Dallas is with a rainmaker. Can he finish it? Can he finish? Trey Donovan, big forearm shot. Masters, hypomatic connects. <laughs> a big hypomatic connect. And now, uh, oh, oh, no. But no, he didn't go for the... I thought he may have set up for the spear, and this could be a disaster for Dan Masters. Surely he should have either went for a pin or tried to set up for the, the spear. But now what's he doing? Up, and that's what happens. Gets yeah. caught by Donovan. The experience of Trey Donovan coming into play. Uh, again, that experience there, Geoff Treadon coming into play. Dan Masters making a, a huge, monumental mistake as all. Well. And again, that experience. Got to tell you, this match again has gone one way, then the other. And you thought Dan Masters was on the comeback, but it's not going to happen. Trey Donovan. Now, what are you going to think? You're doing throws him back inside the room. No, he keeps him on the outside. And a boot to the oh. side. And he's got a bloody cut. Oh, he's been bloodied up, and it's his time of the month. Well, time the week is the amount of blood we see every week. I mean, look at this here, looking for the walls. Uh oh, the is walls of Donovan could have been locked in. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's locked in and center of the ring. Damos, does can he try and get some ropes, or is he going to tap, or can he escape? Look at this, Sun it's locked in. No, he didn't. No, he hasn't tapped. Now he has a tap tread off. I think he get that experience. He knew he had to let go, but oh, takes an elbow shot. Spear! The spear! He's got him! Pin him! Head under the rope! Referee doesn't care! Oh! oh. Two count only! Oh my goodness! My god, what a spear out of nowhere. I mean, tread on his head was clearly under the rope, but Jim Josh was showing it. He is truly this episode sweat they're blind as fuck my goodness me and now up to the top what's gonna happen here oh, oh. moved out of the way donovan now this has surely got to be donovan's time off the roof back out oh. of the connects my and then just goodness. a stiff kick into the back of the hair and now a ddt oh. That could make the blood even worse. As I said, that blood's got to be going into the eyes of Tamas. It's going to affect his vision. And oh, look at his vicious elbow strikes to the temple and into that cut. My goodness. And now Donovan just dragging him away, looking for the lion. Salt oh, That's it. it. Just pin him. Oh, pin him to he's, he's done. Try to just pin him, end it. Don't oh, make a, a mistake here. Wait a minute. Inverted oh. DDT. Is that going to be enough for the Intercontinental Championship? No way. No. no. Oh, my goodness. Crowd on their feet here. They know this could be the beginning of something if Dan Masters can just dig deep here. And, oh, this is him digging deep. Look at this. Just wrenching at the head and neck there of Trey Donovan. Just almost trying to break he's that desperate to get the win and get the intercontinental title unbelievable back and forth action here for the intercontinental title masters oh nice this is his chance surely he has got to set up for it now tim but again yeah, he, it take, he took too long again yeah again huge mistakes made by tam masters and trade over capitalizes into a cover here and no <laughs> This match has had you on the edge of this. He, Donovan playing to the crowd. He knows that Dan Masters is a beaten man here. Masters is struggling to get to his feet. And this is Donovan for the taking to retain the Intercontinental title. Has him up. Oh my God. Down. Bomb power bomb. Cover. Two. No. And he turns uh -oh. it around for more punishment. Yeah, Look at the lower back. Into almost like an inverted version of the walls of Donovan, but no, Tamos gets out of it. But oh, how much did it take out of him? He looks out of it, he looks done. Donovan is looking full of life, but wait a minute, it was Masters playing a trick here. Yeah, maybe he was. Drop oh, kick! Drop kick! Oh, wait a minute, 
We had a minute here. We know what this is. He's lining it up. If he hits this, Tim, it could be all over. If he hits this, if it is over, no way. Spear! Oh, Spear! New champion, no Cover! Way. Cover! Two! Dan Masters is your new intercontinental champion! Well, somehow the hype man's won it. I mean, I'm in shock, me personally, but... Dad Masters has done it! Ladies and gentlemen, don't adjust your screens! The new Intercontinental Champion! He is Dan Masters! Well, I'm absolutely shocked that Dan Masters has done it! Gotta tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen, what a hell of a match by both competitors! I'd love to see them two go at it again in the near future, but tonight, Dan Masters is the new intercontinental champion congratulations to the hype man well what a moment for tamas I, I just can't believe it dreams happen ladies and gentlemen dreams happen on smackdown live and now dan masters will put his well go for to be a double champion on the first of july when he takes on john elgin jay money and of course the World Heavyweight Champion, Sean Bethwick, it's a fatal four-way at payback. Yeah, what a huge fatal four-way it's going to be. Kurt Tamas has seriously become a double champion. It, I can't believe I'm saying it, but it could happen. It could happen indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next, Jerry Baltimore looks to take out Aaron the Destroyer. It's coming up next, Smackdown Live. Well, for what we see of Aaron to destroy Jeremy Bolts was in for one hell of a fight here tonight. Gotta to tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen, what a match that was. Like ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, welcome Jeremy Baltimore. And yeah, Jeremy Baltimore, a man with a hell of a lot of energy in him. And he's ready for one hell of a fight ahead of him, of course, going in with Aaron the Destroyer. And I'm sure Jeremy Baltimore's, you know, watched plenty of the tapes of what Aaron the Destroyer has done the past few weeks. And he's going to look to make sure that doesn't happen to him. Yeah, and of course, we've seen Aaron the Destroyer take on Daniel Cage. Of course, Jeremy Baltimore was in that uh, triple threat match, of course, to end of the Royal Rumble. Uh, which he came up short against, but looked very, very impressive a couple of weeks ago here on SmackDown Live. Yeah, it did look very impressive. Can he continue that impressive way to get a victory here? Being told, ladies and gentlemen, that Dan Masters is on the Mars Freeway hotline as we speak. But change of pace, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. His opponent, he is Aaron the Destroyer. Well, how to destroy? We've seen these last few weeks. That name is very apt for him. He is a destroyer, especially last week. What we'd seen was an absolutely brutal showcase from Aaron the Destroyer. Well, let's see. Will he continue that brutal showcase in this match? Well, you have to say this is what an interesting time. Tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen. I know I keep banging on about this, but SmackDown Live does never, ever fail to live up to expectations and you've got to be thinking Dan, who would have thought that Dan Masters would be Intercontinental Champion you didn't give him any chance I mean I'm absolutely shocked something happened Tra I don't know what happened to Trey Donald I thought his experience just gave him such an edge he just couldn't lose but somehow he's lost well you've got to see Trey Donald will come back stronger than ever and Ma as I say Maz Freeway Hotline open now of course uh, we've got Dan Masters on there talking, and you can, if you of course ring in uh, to the Mass Freeway Hotline. Remember, it's 450 for the first minute, 150 for additional minutes, and you won't be on the line more than five minutes. As Aaron the Destroyer, as Tim said, has been really opening eyes up, of course, here on SmackDown Live. And of course, we've just got to quickly say thank you to our sponsors this week. Of course, if you want to be pulled in each and every way, why don't you try Francis Yoga? It loves to pull you when places you don't really think you could be pulled. And also, of course, Florida water. Fruity, 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 Florida water. Get it in some bad stores. 
Add some good ones. <laughs> well done. Tried to catch you out. And you failed. Uh -huh. Tim's on the ball, ladies and gentlemen. You can't have beat anything. You can't have beat Tim Price here at ringside alongside Dave Easton here on SmackDown Live. You definitely can't. Well, what a match this is going to be. One for the ages. Could be as well. Not many. Yeah, we're getting a few people not really liking uh, Jeremy Bono. Twitch chat going for Aaron the Destroyer so far on this one in our Twitch chat pool. And the bets are coming in, of course. As we are underway for our seventh match of the night. Already, this this show is flying by. Why not? It's been a hell of a show so far. As Jeremy Bono oh, with wow. a big slam early on. And you're just looking for physique of Jeremy Bono, and he is an absolute powerhouse in that ring. And He's extremely strong, and that's what he's going to look to use against Aaron Destroyer. It's that strength and power. Definitely. You've got to be saying, to Tim, that uh, this could be Jeremy Bono's break. A match if he can beat Aaron the Destroyer, you could get again. Always looking to climb the ranks here in NSW. And if you beat someone like someone who's on a roll like Aaron the Destroyer, what, of course, what that would do for his career. Yeah, it'd be absolutely huge for his career. And right now, Chen Bolts is really taking the fight to and destroy and showing he does have the skill and proficiency to get the job done. Mm, oh we... my goodness, into this Arbor crossface variation. Now, and destroys in real trouble. He's fighting out of this vicious submission, though. Can I see early on here? It looks like Baltimore has got Aaron the Destroyer's number. Whoop, wait a minute, just as I say that. Big forearm shot coming back in. Now look out. Up and. Oh, Selena de Destroyer! <laughs> what a vicious Selena Del Destroyer there. And now brings him down a hard way. And now up and over again. And oh, oh, Phoenix Splash! My god, that could have ended badly. But now Aaron the Destroyer in full control. Yeah, that momentary, you know, beginning was bad for Aaron Destroyer, but he's come back very quickly here. It's what a deadlift power on the strength of Aaron Destroyer there. And uh oh. Oh, this could be. We've seen this before. Bam! Oh my god. Right into the side of the jaw. My goodness. Uh, look at the strength here. again as a deadlift suplex by Aaron the Destroyer. Gotta see Tim, this every week SmackDown Live, the new competitors we've had in this season, I tell you, have just put it up another notch here. They're always hungry, always looking to get one up on each other. And of course, we've seen that in the matches so far tonight. Of course, that last match, unbelievable. Oh, Jesus! Aaron the Destroyer, my goodness. He's already done damage to the hand. Has he done enough to win this one? No, he hasn't. Uh, Jeremy Beltor's still got fighting in, but my goodness, what a vicious reverse Rana there by Aaron the Destroyer. Oh, no, we've seen this before. Yes, we have. Kicks him. Oh! No! The Destroyer destroys Jeremy Baltimore here tonight. No! no! What? Wow! I have, well, I don't think I've seen anyone kick out of that. Well, I, I think last week we did, and it made things worse for Aaron to destroy his opponent. And things could get a whole lot worse for Jeremy Baltimore. Aaron the Destroyer, of course, we've seen on um, Raw for representing SmackDown Live. And my goodness, Mars Freeway is going to be very impressed with this guy. But wait a minute, Jeremy Baltimore coming back. Yeah, fight him back down. That's what he needs to do. He needs to find quick offense like that, but quick and powerful. There's oh Hammerlock DDT. And now all of a sudden is it Baltimore looking for the shock win? Yeah, that's just how quickly a match can turn around. Jerry Baltimore. Oh no. Look out! Package! Oh. Pile driver connects. And that, ladies and gentlemen, should be that. No! no. It's this time it's Aaron the Destroyer's turn to stop the plans of Jeremy Baltimore. Oh, now he's put the guns away and this could be the end of Aaron the Destroyer. Big shot. Oh. And a second. Ducks under. And a flying clothesline. Oh, wow. Destroyer in a lot of trouble here. But wait a minute. 
caught him out of nowhere, Tim. Yeah, that was so impressive. I had to show showing how quick he is. And, uh-oh, he's looking for this strike again. Oh! No! Out of nowhere! And that is devastating for Aaron the Destroyer, who picks up yet another win here tonight on SmackDown Live. And it just makes Aaron the Destroyer truly unstoppable. I go, what a... Who could stop him after such an impressive victory? My goodness. I think Dan Masters might be looking at maybe a future opponent here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're saying who could stop Mr. Extreme. You could say the same thing for Aaron to destroy. Who could stop him? Uh, I'll tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be interesting to see who it is in the coming weeks. Aaron the Destroyer on a roll. Ladies and gentlemen, this week you have voted in AJ West to take on Jacob Anderson. He will, of course, right now on Twitter, you can vote what type of match they have for the internet title this week on NXT. Uh, wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to go to the back. Can we get some cameras at the back, please? Yeah, please. What the hell's going on? That's Shane Saban there. This is this has just happened, ladies and gentlemen. This is not live. This is what we, Shane Saban is due to debut next week. And now, look at this. Oh, and well, this is what we're all hearing about from Tristan. Oh, my, oh my God. Oh, no, 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 the concrete. Jesus. This guy uh, was meant to debut next week. Well, that ain't happening. Oh, oh god. god. This is ridiculous. Oh, this is bullshit. And well, it looks like Tristan Knight is not having any of this. Uh, Shane Seven trying to just crawl away from this. And he's been chucked outside the dressing room. And Tristan Knight looks happy. Look at the smile on his face. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, from that to this, this is your main event. Who is going to be the new number one contender for, of course, Cassidy's uh, title? We'll find out next. It is a battle royal coming up and already in the ring. Yeah, who will get that all important opportunity? We're going to find out. Here we go, then. Eight women, of course, this happened, of course, after our last number one contender got released. Yes. Uh, which wasn't good. As uh, already Victoria Extreme. Ah! Oh dear. Um, oh. Well, that didn't go according to plan, did it? No, it didn't. Um, well, I'll wait till it happens on our replay, I guess, and then we'll. Uh, I have to close it after that, I'm afraid. You've missed your chance. It's that quick. Uh, apologies about that, but uh, Victoria Extreme has been eliminated. Uh, looks like it's not been a happy night for the Extreme family. No, certainly not. See, that's a quickie we've been on! Oh! And that is Alexa Bliss been eliminated. So Amber Moon in there, Amber still in, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, uh, of course, uh, Ashley Zinder still in, and Naomi still in. Yeah, and though I thought Amber Moon was in trouble there, she's about to get eliminated, but now she escapes out of that. I'm oh, sure we've already lost two people in this match. I'm doing apologies if you didn't get your bets in, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, how quick these uh, battle royals go. But who is going to face uh, Cassidy Money, of course, at payback? That's what we're going to find out. Right, Amber Moon is said she's taking a fight to Peggy Lynch. And Amber, oh my goodness! And Amber trying to take out uh, Ashley Zinder there. And Naomi having a bit of problems with Charlotte on the far side. Yeah, she looks like she could be about to be eliminated. Look at this. I'm trying to eliminate Ashley Zinder. Uh, Becky Lynch on Ember Moon with the reversal as Naomi stays in. Zinder in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, she... she's in real trouble. Is she going to get pushed out? No, no, she no she's she not. get back in. My goodness. Big back elbow by Ashley Zinder. Amber's not going to have any more of that. Big shot by Charlotte. I guess we're going to try and keep our eyes on the action at all times here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute here. Now goes Becky Lynch. Oh. Ember Moon with the elimination. And oh my goodness. Jesus. And there goes Naomi. And that was not an easy landing. No, it certainly was. We're down to the final four here already. Wait a minute. And, oh, oh, Amber's gone. Wow. 
We're down to three. That's how quick this is. What a main event we're having. What a quick main event we're having here. As uh, Ashley Zinder in all sorts of trouble here. Yeah, she about to be eliminated here. It's looking very bad for her. She's got to try to find a way out of this. But oh, moves. she's gone. Oh, she's gone. We're, we're down to two already. What a quick battle royal for our main event here. Jesus, yeah. I didn't know we were running out of TV time that quickly. Well, apparently we were. As it's down to Ember Moon and Charlotte. Who's getting a shot? A Ember Moon! It's Ember Moon! Ember Moon will take on Cassidy. Wow! Ember My Moon goodness. in a first match on SmackDown Live is the new number one contender. Wow! That is a huge wow and wow. Cassie, I hope you're ready to film an eclipse because Ember Moon's coming for you. That is one hell of a debut, ladies and gentlemen. Ember Moon to take on Cassidy. What an end to tonight. And well, Ember Moon, well, she just ran through everyone. And oh, wait a minute. Well, speaking of the champion, there she is. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to happen at payback. Cassidy and Ember Moon. What a match that's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a huge match. I can't wait for it. Well, Cassidy letting Ember Moon know what she's dealing with. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. What a night. It is went that quick. I love SmackDown. I love NSW overall. That is, you just don't know what's going to happen. Join us next week, of course, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, SmackDown Live. Of course, join us on Saturday for NXT. It's see you the fans' time. Now, goodbye, fans. That's it for Dave Easton, Tim Price. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on NXT. Okay, let's see. So, Danny. Uh, maybe. I can't get to 1500, and it's pissing me off. Maybe George? Maybe George, are you a bot? Are you a real person?